Howdy y'all, welcome back to another video. For those of you who have been watching my channel for quite a while already, you do know that I love old school hair products and I'll do my best to, if I find something interesting, to bring it to YouTube and make a video out of it. And that's exactly what I'll be doing today. Because one day I was just um, randomly looking into a drugstore that I've actually never visited before in my city. And when I was scouring the hair product section, I looked in the bottommost row, you know that row where nobody ever um, checks out or nobody ever buys from? I found these rows of glass bottles, glass jars, that really struck my attention because these jars look very similar to the old jars that Burrell Cream used to be packaged in. So it's definitely an old school hair cream. And the hair cream we'll be taking a look at today is the Ken Rosa hair cream. And I tried looking it up online, but there's absolutely no information to be found other than the fact that um, there are quite a lot of hair creams in Arabic countries. This one is actually an Arabic product, but it's made in England. So in Arabic countries, there are quite a lot of hair creams that look similar to this that come in similar bottles, but made by different companies, but they're all inher inherently the same thing. But anyway, um, what I find really interesting is that you really can't look it up online. I've never heard of it. I bet you guys have never heard of it. And the only thing I actually do know about the product and the company itself by looking up online is just that there is a picture of two products in this line. The first one is the Super Fine Hair Cream, which comes in a 300 milliliter bottle, which is the exact one over here. And another one labeled the um, Every Man's Brilliant Teen Hair Cream by Ken Rosa, which actually looks like the exact same thing, except that it's packaged in a more different bottle, like a slender, Taller bottle, that is 135 milliliters, this one's 300 milliliters. They're probably the exact same product despite the different naming, but just packaged in a different bottle for different sizes. Because you guys um, are not familiar with this product, obviously I'll be comparing it to something that we probably might be familiar with. You guys have probably used it before, but I know quite a lot of people have used it. And this Brill Cream, we'll be comparing this product to Brill Cream in terms of like just it's general properties, like everything, how it performs, it's, consistent, it's consistency, excuse me, and all. And let us just open it up. The scent on it, it's sort of like a lemon shaving soap smell, which is actually very similar to this Brill Cream right here. But despite having like both products having a lemon shaving soap scent, this one kind of does smell different to Braille Cream in a way, but you can tell that both are sort of like a lemon-lime shaving soap kind of scent, even though they're kind of like different from each other. And if you look at the um, consistency, you would find it to be much thicker compared to your average hair cream. And also the appearance on the surface is rather more grainy, while if you look at Braille Cream, it looks more greasy and watered down, it's definitely more smooth in the surface. So Ken Rosa is obviously the thicker hair cream. And if you scoop it out, clearly it's a lot more goopy. It's very um, a lot more thick to the touch, especially compared to other hair creams of its contemporary. And by the way, what I find rather interesting about this product is that the um, whole jar itself, it's 300 milliliters worth of product. It cost me only one euro. And in my years of using old school hair products and pomades um, for two years, this is single most, the cheapest product I've ever seen and purchased. I mean, this is a 250 milliliter jar of Brill Cream, and it costed me about three euros and 39 cents. Well, this one cost me only one euro, and it's 300 milliliters. It's more than Brill Cream. So let's just then break it down our hands. It doesn't feel um, too sticky, but it's um, obviously it has more body to it being thicker than Brill Cream. Just gonna go ahead and apply it. It's pretty goopy to scoop out, obviously, because it's um, a lot thicker. And if you apply it to hair, it just goes in like nothing. It's just like most other hair creams. It's nothing like really too special about it in, um, so far. But the um, greasiness factor of it, um, despite containing lanolin, this one actually contains lanolin in its ingredients while Brill Cream doesn't. It actually doesn't feel as greasy as Brill Cream. I mean, sure, 
it does have some what like a level of greasiness to it, but it's like not as bad as like Brill Cream because with Brill Cream, you're basically like um, if you do apply some Brill Cream to your hair, you kind of you could you would kind of feel like a layer of oil applied to the top layer of your hair, and if you rub your hands through your hair, you definitely find like a a lot of like oily residue on your hands. But with this one, the greasiness is a lot more moderated compared to that of Brill Cream, and the shine factor on it is also not that bad either. It's sort of like a Shine that's between medium and high, and it's a little bit of a wet shine first, but it's just very slightly wet. It's nothing too, too crazy like Brill Cream, where it just gives you that straight up greasy, oily look. But for the most part, the type of shine that this Ken Rosa hair cream gives you is that sort of like satin sheen, kind of like a more duller sheen than that of a wet gloss that Brill Cream gives you, but it's still like a nice healthy sheen to it, sort of like a more wired out shade when it comes to um, the shine on it. So it's kind of like a mix of a little, like a very slight wet gloss, but mostly like a wired out satin sheen to it. And I believe that this is actually pretty superior for um, a hair, hair cream at that time because most hair creams during that era are just rather um, straight up greasy and very wet looking. But this one is not as wet looking, but more of like a healthy, um, wired out sheen to your hair. That's pretty, um, a satin sheen is rather subtle, but you can tell that the hair is very um, well groomed with that kind of shine. You can tell very quick styling. And this is how my hair looks under this lighting. And now when it comes to the hold, let's talk about the hold. It's actually got a better hold than Brill Cream. Like, um, Brill Cream provides you with a hold that's almost natural, just a very, very slight notch above a natural or no hold. But this one is sort of like a solid notch above like a natural hold. It's still very light, obviously. And I also have to add that the light hold you get from this product, which I described earlier to be stronger than Brill Cream, is not exactly near the hold that you'd get from pomade. It's definitely still lighter than even a light pomade but it's definitely a little more than Brill Cream. And if you actually style your hair um, with a comb with this product in, the amount of control you get is very similar to Brill Cream. It's actually almost the same, actually, despite being thicker in its consistency, I'll describe that the amount of control you would get from styling with this product is actually um, very similar, if not the same. I would just say it's the same amount of control you get for styling as with Brill Cream, even though this is thicker. Because being a thicker one, I expected that Ken Rosa would actually provide you with a better control, but it actually still provides you with the same amount of control you would get with a more thinned out hair cream like Brill Cream. And it also combs really, really easily, obviously, just like on every other light hair cream. And it combs in without gumming. If you use excessive product, you would obviously find a lot of product gathered in your comb, but if you just use the right amount, it combs out without gumming at all, absolutely. And it, styling should just feel pretty smooth. And you also get like a better hold in general, like um, neatness to your hair all day. I mean, Brill Cream does make your hair absolutely neat. And with this one, it does make your hair very neat as well, and it keeps it like neat enough throughout the whole day, but just like all their light products, there's definitely going to be some movement or flopping over with your hair, as long, but as long as you don't move too much, it won't be as bad. But you find that the hold in it's actually a little more solid than Brill Cream is, and it's not surprising because the consistency on it is um, a lot thicker than Brill Cream is, and the fact that it contains lanolin probably um, assists in its hold, but I'm surprised that it's actually quite less greasy than Brill Cream despite containing lanolin in it. and. One thing that us pomade users use hair creams for besides as a standalone product is to degrease our hair. Now when it comes to degreasing our hair, Brill Cream actually does a better job than Ken Rosa because you know Ken Rosa just makes the buildup feel a little more gummy sometimes, but Brill Cream does like a better job break it down. Like sure, Ken Rosa hair cream does break down some buildup in our hair, but it doesn't do like as good as, of a job as Brill Cream does. So in a way, Brill Cream is actually better than Ken Rosa when it comes to breaking up buildup. Build up. And the washability in it, obviously just like most other hair creams, it's very easy to wash off. It takes only one round of shampoo, but what I do find is that if I don't use any shampoo at all and just rinse out the water, most of it comes out, but you're still going to have at least something um, in your hair and you can feel it. It's very, very light, but you would definitely feel that there's some leftover um, stuff in your hair.
Also, the scent on it's clearly um, very light, and you can't smell it anymore once you apply it to your hair. And the thing is about this, it does make your hair feel softer because just like most vintage hair creams, it's um, rather conditioning. And if you rub your hands through your hair, it is actually um, definitely, definitely less greasy than Brill Cream. So, my final say on Ken Rosa Super Fine Hair Cream. First of all, you get an amazing amount for the price you're paying. It's very cheap, it's just one euro and you get 300 milliliters worth of product. That is, this is pretty rare, I think. I was just lucky enough to find this somewhere. And nevertheless, I just took it to just see what it's like. And not only is it cheap and you get like a lot of product worth of the money, but also it is pretty special for its contemporary being that, like I said, the shine you get for most other products from that contemporary is sort of like very like wet gloss, but this one has a very much more moderated shine to it that gives you like a healthy satin sh sheen. So the shine in it's very like well moderated and makes the hair look not as greasy compared to using other um, hair products, other hair creams especially during the heyday of hair creams, which is like the 1930s, the 1950s, or um, mid-1960s. That's when the hair creams were really, really popular. And, you know, a lot of hair creams were very greasy, but this one just doesn't make your hair actually look greasy, despite the fact that it's been like around the same era as Brill Cream, most likely, because even though there's no information about it being around during that time, you can clearly tell by the design of the jar, because seriously, who uses jars like these anymore. And the fact that it's made in England, um, they definitely packaged it. Brill Cream used this exact same jar at some point during its manufacture, definitely, especially that um, it's made in England. And you can tell that the jar design is pretty old school, so it's, it's no secret at all. But anyway, despite this product being a very simple one, it's nonetheless nice to have in my collection, really nice to find, and nice to actually try out because I've never actually seen a product like this. But the one thing I do have to um, complain about this product is just obviously with this design of the jar, it's not a very practical option when it comes to scooping out your product because, you know, if it's too, if it comes in a tube, just like American Brill Cream, it's very easy to control the amount you have coming out of the um, container to apply it to your hair. And with pot like this for grill cream with a relatively wide opening. It's very easy to scoop out and to clean up the jar if you were very low in product. But let's just say that you're running low in product with this jar and the opening is pretty small compared to the rest of the jar. It's very like hard to just put your fingers in to the jar and just scoop out whatever's left in there. So like the jar itself may look very aesthetic, especially in your collection, which is always a good thing. But if you're actually using it for practical reasons, for talking practical reasons, it's not a very good option if you want to clean out your jar. Anyway, there's not much else I have to say about this product. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, it's never a single upload of mine, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay greasy, everybody.